Hello guys, let's install Llama GPT today. Llama is a large language model developed by Meta. It is free for research and commercial usage, and it can be set up as a self-hosted local server. So let's see how easy it is to set up and how good it is. On the GitHub page, it mentions that this service can be run on any Embryo system, M1, M2, Mac system, or anywhere in a Docker container. So in this video, I'll be using Ubuntu with the VDA 4070Ti I mentioned in this video. Let's start. There are many tutorials online talking about how to install Ubuntu Linux system. You can either do dual booting alongside Windows or just replace the whole disk. And after the system installation, the best practice is to first update the system. You can do so with the software updater inside the app menu. After that, you need to reboot your system and then install the GPU drivers. For me, because I'm using an NVIDIA GPU, so I need to go to the software and update, additional driver section, click on the latest GPU proprietary driver, apply changes, and then restart the system. And after that, let's set up Llama GPT. Because it requires Docker, so let me set up Docker from the Docker's official website. I'll be installing the Docker desktop for Linux as it is the quickest and easiest way to get started. After following the first step, which is to set up the apt repository, now I can install the deb file for the Docker desktop for Linux. The Docker desktop has installed. I can see the application started properly. It's time to clone the Embryo GitHub repository and set up the service. I'll be running the Llama 2 13B model and see how it works. Alright, the script has finished running. Overall, it took me around 30 minutes. My desktop has an AMD 5900X CPU with 32GB RAM inside. Even though the script finished with some error, I can already see the Llama GPT container is running inside the Docker desktop application. So let me try to access the container inside a web browser. All right, after doing some research online, people say that to avoid this issue, I need to use Docker CE. So I tried using some command line of Docker to start a container. If I do not use sudo in front of the command, it gave me the same error. But when I add sudo in front of the command, it gave me that Docker service is not enabled. And when I try to enable the Docker service, it says the Docker service doesn't exist. So let me follow the Docker CE installation guide for Ubuntu and see if it will help with the situation after that. All right, I installed the Docker CE. Now let's see if I can start the container again. I still cannot start a container using the command line. Let me remove them and rerun the script and see if it helps. No matter how I try it, I just couldn't start the Llama GPT container using the command line. Interestingly, after I uninstalled the Docker desktop for Linux, 
I can no longer see the image or the container for the Llama GPT. The only thing left was the hello world image I created using the command line. So I'm rerunning the Llama GPT script and re-downloading the images and creating the container. And this time I have to use sudo to start a script. It looks to me that Docker desktop on Linux is a whole separate installation than the traditional Docker CE. And it doesn't work well with NVIDIA CUDA driver. But anyways, let's see how it goes this time. I'll see you in another 30 minutes. All right, the script finished running again. But this time, it gave a different error, saying it cannot detect the NVIDIA compatibility. And after some research, I found there is an NVIDIA runtime package I can install to fix this issue. I just followed the tutorial on this page to install it. After I restart the Docker service using systemd command, I can start both of the containers. Let me try to access the Llama GPT using the web browser. It took some time for the UI server to start. And now I can access the Llama GPT using web browser. Let me try to ask it some questions. Even with the 4070Ti NVIDIA GPU, the response seems slow. Let me do another question. I didn't time the responses, but it feels like it took around 30 seconds to answer each question. This is the first time I set up an offline chatbot, so I'm gonna play with it for the next few days and weeks. I'm pretty happy with the result right now, because overall, the installation process seems easy, with only two blockers. The first one is that I have to use the Docker CE instead of the Docker desktop on Linux to run the Llama model. And the second one is that NVIDIA needs additional package for the Docker to run with the NVIDIA GPU compatibility. But both of them are pretty easy to solve if you have previous experience with Docker on Linux. That's all for this video. So let me know what kind of questions you want to ask me or Llama GPT. I'll try to post the answers from us in the comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.